The 5 Most Common Types of Sleep Disorders When you have a hard time falling asleep, it can be difficult to get through the day, let alone be at 100% every morning. The more tired you are, the harder it is to concentrate and reach your goals and the less productive you'll be. Sleep disorders affect a lot of people, whether they realize it or not. It is believed that between 30-40% to of the population will suffer from some sort of sleep disorder in their lifetime. That's an incredible large amount of people. It is is estimated that there are around 80 different types of sleep disorders but many are incredibly rare. Here are the 5 most common sleep disorders. 1. Insomnia. It is believed that between 30 to 48% of older adults suffer from insomnia and between 10 to 30% of adults suffer from chronic insomnia. Insomnia is basically a difficulty in falling or staying asleep. There are 3 types of insomnia: transient, which lasts for around a week, Acute insomnia which is classed as short-term and chronic insomnia which is long-term. You can help improve insomnia by making changes to your sleeping habits, such as sticking to a bedtime routine and avoiding food and drink before bed. Some causes of insomnia include stress, anxiety, too much noise at night, temperature of bedroom and drinking too much caffeine. 2. Restless Leg Syndrome Restless Leg Syndrome affects between 5-10% to of adults and between 2-4% to of children. Restless leg syndrome, or willis eekbaum disease, is characterized by an overwhelming urge to move the legs, which is often accompanied by unpleasant sensations. RLS is difficult to diagnose because it cannot be measured or detected using scans or other procedures. Doctors look at specific criteria to diagnose it. Firstly the patient feels compelled to move their legs, arms, or other body parts, which is frequently accompanied by unpleasant sensations. And these urges are triggered when the body is inactive or resting. The urges are relived temporarily when moving the affected body part, only occur or are worsened during the evening or night and are not a symptom of another condition. 3. Sleep apnea. It is believed that sleep apnea affects between 2-9% to of adults in the US and a 10% increase in body weight equates to a six-fold increase in the risk of sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is when your breathing stops and starts when you're sleeping. The most common type is called obstructive sleep apnea. Making gasping or choking noises while sleeping, loud snoring, and feeling extremely exhausted during the day are the main symptoms of sleep apnea. While sleeping, your airways relax and constrict, resulting in sleep apnea. Obesity and growing older are both linked to it. Sleep apnea is usually treated with a mask you wear while you're asleep, called a CPAP machine. 4. Narcolepsy. Between 130,000 to 200,000 people in the U.S. suffer from narcolepsy. Narcolepsy is a neurological condition that interferes with your ability to wake up and sleep. Narcolepsy is characterized by excessive and uncontrollable daytime sleepiness. They may also fall asleep unexpectedly at any time and throughout any activity. Although people may begin experiencing symptoms at any age, narcolepsy most often begins between 7 and 25 years old. Narcolepsy cannot be cured. It is seen as a lifelong affliction. Symptoms for the vast majority of people remain relatively steady over time. Although narcolepsy cannot be cured, it can be managed. The treatment's goals are to alleviate symptoms, maintain patient safety, and enhance quality of life. 5. REM Sleep Behavior Disorder REM Sleep Behavior Disorder is a condition marked by uncontrollable body movements and vocalizations while a person is dreaming vividly. Normally, most of the body's muscles are temporarily paralyzed during REM sleep, while the brain is active and dreaming. This permits us to sleep peacefully and safely all night. Paralysis does not occur during the REM stage in people who have REM sleep behavior disorder. Instead, while they are sleeping, their body and speech act out their dreams. Less than 1% of people are estimated to suffer from the disorder. It usually develops after the age of 50, and it is linked to other neurodegenerative diseases. Because it raises the danger of damage to oneself and one's bed partner, the condition usually requires treatment. Individualized treatment for REM sleep behavior disorder can include a combination of lifestyle changes, medication, and injury prevention strategies. Sleep disorders affect far more adults than we realize, and can be harmful to our long-term health if they go undiagnosed and untreated. If you are experiencing troubling sleeping habits, there is no need to suffer in silence. Reach out, talk with a professional, and start sleeping better tonight. Thank you for watching. Please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel.